Good morning, Logie Bear. Good morning. Logie Tuke, you still sleeping back there, bud? <laughs> yeah, we had to get up super early. Um, where we're staying was about an hour away from where we had to be this morning at 7.30 a.m. We have, uh, and we just got here, uh, an appointment to get our spring coil readjusted for the rear gate, the ramp that comes down. Since we took off the bottom ramp, you know, the springs are just too tight right now, so it doesn't stay open when we open it and wants to spring back up. So we're here at a local garage door company and they are gonna fix it for us. Apparently there's not that many garage door companies out there that still do box trucks. So um, I'm lucky that I found this one here. Plus we had to come into town today. We got a lot of other errands. It's gonna be busy. We gotta go to Home Depot, uh, the grocery store. We gotta go to a plumbing store. We have two Overland stores in town, AT Overland and Turn Overland, picking up our doors and windows and um, AT Overland has a really cool shower mixing valve that we're going to put one on inside and outside. What else? Oh, we're going to eat amongst all of that too. So it's going to be a busy day. And then after that, I'm sure we're going to be pooped ready for bed. So stick along for the ride. We got quite a bit to accomplish. All right, ramp door done. Stop number two. We got to drop off a UPS package for a return. Okay, stop number three breakfast and when we were looking for places number one there's an abundance to choose from here in town uh, but number two we had to stop here because it's got my name on the door and it has five stars how often do you see five star reviews on Google Stop number four, the Home Depot. We're gonna be here for a while, but we're doing pretty good. It's uh, like nine o'clock in the morning or so. We'll see what time we get out of here. We got a lot of stuff to grab. Our trip. Is it three? Yeah, we got here at about 9 30. 9, 9 30. Jeez, man. All, it's tough getting all these materials. I mean, our list is so good <laughs> that we got to get all this stuff, which is fine, but it just gets overwhelming, right? Like, I'm just, I'm mentally burned out. Yeah, and we're it's not crazy. done. Yeah, we got Lowe's and Home Depot, Trader Joe's, Walmart. Uh, AT Overland, Turn, Turn Overland, and, and the plumbing Hughes, store. And the plumbing store use. Still. <laughs> and it's snowing. Whew, I'm getting tired already. Stop number five, grocery store. What'd you boys get? A whole bunch of stickers. Stickers? Wait, hold, hold it. St. Patty's Day. Trying to use it as a belt, buddy? I, I have, have no, belt. I don't think you have belt loops. Stop number six, I think this is. Second grocery store because the first one, well, I couldn't find everything. So, Wally World it is, unfortunately. I hate fighting Wally World. seven for the record and yes I am keeping count because today is insane but we're getting through it I think hopefully the worst of it's over we just got to find some stuff here that we can get at Home Depot hopefully fingers crossed and then it should be downhill from there Yes, 
we're back again. Second Home Depot of the day. <sighs> Stop number eight, I think. How you boys doing? Well, our third trip to a supply house might have paid off because we found some plumbing parts for our PEX tubing that uh, we were gonna have to make a special trip to a plumbing store too. So fingers crossed we can find everything else here. Yeah, that trip actually paid off. Even though it was our third trip to a Home Depot Lowe's type store, um, they actually had quite a bit of plumbing material that we were planning on having to go to a different store to get. So that paid off. We're still on a mission to find some, originally it was gonna be FRP board for our shower and it's hard to come by. That's not this pebbled textured looking stuff that I don't really care for can't find the smooth stuff and then I found some tiled HGF board at the other Home Depot but they don't have it here and you can't order it's going out of stock and they don't have enough over there for what we need so kind of back to square one on that um, but we got most everything else so checking things off the list look at there there's a one wheel well that was cool we just pulled up to stop number what are we on I'm losing count now nine I think for the day this is AT Overland. Kurt's just running in real quick to get our shower diverter valves. And uh, there's a Ram 3500 single wheel Overland Expedition vehicle parked right beside us. It's a sign. Pretty cool. With the single wheel on the back, the super single conversion. And we are planning on doing that. Um, we've got a contact down there at DBL Designs in Texas and uh, they're working us up a quote right now to not only do the super single but the suspension and hopefully design some kind of rear swing arm bumper for our spare tire and a winch and a front bumper system so we're going to be giving them a lot of business and we're looking forward to it hopefully we can make it down there sometime this spring like uh, May or April ish so super exciting to see that vehicle here as we pulled up. Pretty neat. You got it? Got it. Nice. Yeah. All right, stop number 10, 11. I'm losing count. Done. Check it off. We got our doors and windows from Turn Overland. Now I think all we got left is dinner. Yeah. Whew. Big old steak. <laughs> yeah, we deserve it after all this. <laughs> How is it, Ham? Okay, so we're at our final stop for the day. A well-deserved, earned dinner. This is a belated birthday dinner for Kurt, and we are going all out. So we're at a nice restaurant. It's called Farm Provisions in downtown Prescott area. And they've got all kind of natural, uh, fresh farm-to-table food. Just tried some fr deep fried deviled eggs with bacon and like fig jam. Never seen or even heard of a deep fried deviled egg, but that was delicious and very simple. <laughs> What's mama doing? <laughs> Happy birthday, Daddy. Thanks, babe. Love you. Well, that's going to wrap up our day of spending money. <laughs> Dinner was absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's a little pricey, but you know what? When in Rome, you gotta, you just got to splurge every now and then. We've been working hard. We've been cooking at home. We haven't spent a ton of money up until now. So, you know what? just kind of felt like we had to go for it. Uh, all kidding aside, farm provisions in downtown Prescott, delicious, absolutely phenomenal. I had the filet mignon, Kurt had the elk filet, Luke had the salmon, and Logan had a cheeseburger. Um, 
It was wonderful. I'm pooped. I know the boys are looking forward to getting home. Uh, we're going to sign off for the night. As you can see, we are back. We got the materials back and we've been busy. Um, really, this is one day's worth of work. Well, half a day to me, but uh, we got this back wall framed up. Uh, we dry fitted the uh, turn overland door, made sure everything cleared, everything fit. So down here we got this diamond plate cut back so when the door's up uh, it won't hit the wall. We still got to add a mechanism so when we fold the diamond plate up we can kind of secure it so it doesn't fall down on the wall and the door. And so here's our door from Arctic Turn Overland. Uh, super excited about these things. They are pretty hefty duty. And the cool thing about them is that they've got a built-in screen. So you can open the door and latch it. And then you still got the screen door. It's kind of like an RV door, but a little bit heavier duty. And they're very clean and sleek. So we ended up getting two of these. One will go on that back wall like you guys saw. And another is going to go on the side, the passenger side, somewhere in the middle of that wall. We also got our windows from them, which are pretty awesome because they have the screen feature, the blackout feature. They open out and they can be cracked just a little bit too. So they're kind of unique in the sense that we haven't seen windows like that. And it seems like they're getting pretty popular. People love their products. So we got the heater pretty much completely installed. I got to hook power up to it and hook the controller up which just snaps together so that should be done here pretty soon we got a couple cargo boxes installed on the side finished up the water tank so now that we have an air vent or an overflow vent in case we fill it up too much it'll flow out down below and give it some air so it can equalize with pressure once again i want a big shout out to clear source um, we got the water filters installed the three canisters that go in to the tank. Today, tomorrow, I should be able to get that hooked up and actually the PEX run so that we can actually fill the tank up. That'll be done here really soon. So big shout out to those guys uh, for sponsoring another video. Like I said, really enjoy the product, man. It's been spot on in the van and I know it's gonna do the same here. Actually, I need a little bit more materials, which we're gonna go probably this afternoon or tomorrow. And actually the mini split has come in as well. So we need to pick that up from Prescott Valley. But yeah, things are things are coming along. Uh, it's been a little chilly at night. I think tonight's supposed to be down like 24. So if I can get this heater fired up and needs to run on high for a couple hours to get it broke in. I got the auxiliary tank um, set. If we get into town today, I'll fill that up with some diesel and we will get her uh, fired up. And we're just gonna be cranking away, man. And so while Kurt's been busy slaving away down here, I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Somebody has to order these materials and find these materials. So I've been a frequent Amazon shopper lately. Uh, it seems like we're getting a delivery now just about every day, but we're kind of racing against the clock a little bit here because we only have till the end of the month at this house that we're renting. So we have to order things now ahead of time in order to get it here. And we're a little bit kind of out in the boonies. So it takes about a week before we order anything to get it delivered. So so it is the beginning of March still. Actually, it's getting close to the middle of March and hopefully we're wrapping up our orders. I've had to find tile board for our shower. I found some tile board at Home Depot that has been discontinued. I looked everywhere and lucked out. There is actually one place in town near Prescott that actually carries it. So that's been on order. We've got to get a few more materials. You know how it goes at Home Depot Lowe's. You always forget something or something pops up that you didn't think about. And on top of all that, I still got to cater to the kids and feed everybody and do some schoolwork in between all of this and still have time for myself. It's been a little bit of a whirlwind, but we're making it work and uh, we're just trying to take advantage of most of the time that we have available here. So Luke has been helping his daddy out quite a bit and I think Logan is learning a little bit as well. So if not all is lost, we're just taking a moment from you know, kind of the, the textbook stuff and we're learning a little more real world application, how to put things together. 
yeah, it's just a temporary season right now and we're just chipping away at it. What you working on, honey? Uh, power. Why don't you explain to us what you got going on underneath your feet here? Give me a minute. Tell us, under the bed here, what you did so that we can get wires run across. Well, it's just, um, just a cross pattern. The mattress will sit up here so the wires can go either way, so they have chases to run stuff underneath the bed. Right, so you did that so we didn't have to run wire up over the ceiling and whatnot, right? Yeah, really tough to run it up and over. So down was, was the plan, yeah. or going outside and down and over. Uh, is another option. Cool, we have light. Never use this type of switch, but um, I want to make sure they're compatible because sometimes dimmers aren't compatible with certain lights. So I want to go ahead and just get it hooked up. It's temporary installed. It'll be in this uh, cabinet. Cool, so you can work later now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah yeah all right so yeah just figuring out circuits um, really just trying to figure out what loads how much power we got what we're doing here so for example I'm running the same wire so this is a 14-3 so it's got a ground so it's got a, a black and a white and a green ground and this is uh, SJ O -O -W. So it's like a weatherproof, UV resistant, really tough wire. And I'm using it for the 120 and the 12 volt. We actually have a 48 volt system. I don't believe off the top of my head anything's going to run off the actual 48 volts. So we got a couple step down transformers to get this down to 12 volts. Since it's the same wire, I'm labeling what's 120 volt, what's 12 volt, and then what circuits. For example, the 120 volt stuff I just got kind of finished up on circuit one is A. So then I'll have A home run. So that goes from the panel to the first location, which was A1. We'll have A2, we'll have A3, A4, etc. Then we'll have a our second circuit, will be B, so we'll have B home run is to the panel, and then we'll have B1, 2, 3, etc. So same with the, the power, or the 12 volt. 12 volt, we're gonna have three circuits on the 12 volt, and we're gonna have three circuits on the 120 volt as well. So we'll have an A, B, and C. So just trying to keep everything organized, keep it labeled. You know, it's a little house. I mean, there's kind of a lot going on. So I just want to make sure that everything's hooked up proper, things run smooth. I can get it out of my head and get it written down is the most important part for me. All right, so it is nighttime. And as you can see, we have lighting in the van. It works and that's not all. It is cold tonight. As a matter of fact, we had to run to town, pick up our mini split. It started snowing on the way in and it was snowing on the way out the temperatures dropped it's got to be what in the 30s right now yeah it's in the 30s the low is supposed to be what 24 24 tonight so perfect timing kurt got our heater hooked up and running and after fidgeting with the um, control panel for about what maybe 20 30 minutes i think we finally figured out how to turn it on these things are never easy to figure out yeah, no. <laughs> Why can't they just have how to turn on the heater? There's so many different steps yeah. to go through there, but it looks like it's running. Um, yeah, and it's warm. I can only hope that this one doesn't give us the problems that the S-Bar did at higher altitudes. Now this one does come with a high altitude kit as well. It was rated up to what? 8,000? 8, 8,500. 8, 8,500 feet, not 8,500 8, feet. Um, but so was the other one. Uh, this no, is... it was higher. It was 90 something. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't remember, but it's in the 9,000 range. Well, in any case, this is a diesel heater and the other one was gasoline. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, different brands. We didn't pay as much for this one either, so. Hey, they say it's Russian. 
And I, I it. know. Hey, I, I can't help Russia's wanting to fight, but we bought it way before this whole war happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't but, hold it against us. But anyways, in Russia, it gets cold, and and it's got to work in Russia. That's the oh. saying. So Tachi, Jarrett Tachi, actually turned me on to this heater. I had no idea it even existed. This is why I watch YouTube and watch videos and stuff to to learn. I like learning. So the recommendation is to let it run for a couple hours the first time that it's on and tonight's the perfect time to do it because it's cold. Big difference between the 2kW of this one we had a 4kW in the van. The output of the heat is way different. So, But this one's a lot quieter too. So fingers crossed and stays on. Hopefully we don't get any more error codes. Hopefully we knock on wood, uh, don't get bricked out of this thing and have to take it to a dealer to get it reset or anything like that. Well, that's one thing I like about this. So the S bar, you had to go in and you have to actually reset it to get it to turn back on. This guy, you just hit the button. It just says, okay, code's gone, fire it back up. I mean, it's two buttons and, and it's running again. So. Um, I think this one's only in Celsius for the other one you had an option in Fahrenheit, but we need to learn Celsius <laughs> Yeah, you know, why not? Why not? Learn There's Spanish, never... learn Celsius. Yeah, never you know. a better time to learn a new skill. Learn Canadian so, A? A? Yeah, okay <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm cold. I'm going inside. I'm glad yeah, to see this thing this is up. running and that we have light Yay, and it's on a dimmer. Watch this. Watch this. Maybe. Hopefully this works. That got dark fast. Hey! There we are. Woohoo! We're still trying to figure this thing out a little bit, but hey, everything works temporarily anyways. So, good news. It's better with Woo! the button, yeah, definitely.